was horrible. All ghostly and glowing. Did you see the ghost train, Gordon? I uh, did see it, Percy, but I'm not scared of a, a silly ghost train. But it wasn't just the engines who were scared of the ghost train. Oh, no. Cranky? What's wrong? Oh, no. Why is everyone running away from me? Henry? Salty Porter! It's only Henry! Henry? Why are you glowing? Ah, all lit up like a lighthouse. I don't know what any of you are talking about. Wait there, and I'll show you. Oh, wow. I must have been painted with the wrong paint. That's why everyone was running away from me. They must have thought I was a ghost train. <laughs> Henry was still chuckling to himself as he got ready to pull a flying kipper. <laughs> By the time Henry arrived back at Tidmouth Sheds, it wasn't dark anymore, so his paint wasn't glowing. I didn't get a wink of sleep last night thinking about that ghost train. Not a wink. Good morning, everyone. I have something funny to tell you all. That ghost train must be the scariest thing I've ever seen. You must have seen it, Henry. You've been out all night. Well, the, the thing is... Is it really terrifying, Henry? James says it has a ghastly glow and a horrible wailing whistle. Yes, well, actually... I bet Henry was shaking in his smoke box. We all know what a scaredy engine you are, Henry. Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared of that ghost train. And yes, I have seen it, but it didn't frighten me at all. What did you want to tell us, Henry? It doesn't matter. The next evening, all the engines made sure they were back in the sheds before it got dark. Nobody wanted to go out while the ghost train was about. I'm not going out tonight. You'll have to take the mail train, Thomas. Me? <laughs> I'm not doing it. How about Edward? I'm not setting one wheel out there in the dark. What's wrong with you all? It's to take the workers to the quarry. I have to go over that bridge today, too. So do I. We all have to go over that bridge. But I'm quite sure there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Thomas wasn't worried at all as he traveled up the branch line with Annie and Clara. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. But then he came to the bridge by the water mill. What's the matter, Thomas? Why are we slowing down? Is there an animal on the line? No, it's just, well, Percy says he heard something spooky last night as he went over this bridge. But I'm sure there's nothing to... Ah! Did you hear it, Thomas? Do you mean that terrible moaning and groaning? Under the bridge? <gasps> It must be a troll. A troll? Trolls live under bridges. Don't you remember the three billy goats gruff? Percy's right. It was a mean, hungry troll that lived under the bridge. The three billy goats were all scared to cross over. They made the little one go first, and he survived by telling the troll to eat his bigger brother. <laughs> I'm going first! Oh! Calm down, Toby. What are you racing for? Go on, Toby. 
we can't wait here forever. I don't hear anything now. Maybe the troll's gone away again. Oh! There's probably nothing to worry about. I mean, whatever it was is probably... Oh! oh! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! It's still here! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! The third one has to be brave, Thomas. The third one has to make the troll go away. What are you talking about, Percy? In the story, the third goat is the one who makes the troll go away. And you're the third. <gasps> oh, Thomas, he's very hungry now. What a splendid engine! Was that him? Huh? Was who him? I, I think I missed it! No! I missed it! Do you think he's come to improve the railway, Stephen? <laughs> yes! Engines like Hugo will be taking over everything! I've seen it before. Horses used to pull cars and coaches, and then along came steam engines, and steam was king until the diesels arrived. But now here's Hugo, and everything is bound to change all over again. Oh, such a smooth ride, and so incredibly fast. That night at Tidmouth Sheds, the engines discuss the situation. And Stephen says we'll all be replaced by engines like Hugo. But I don't want to be replaced. I love working on the railway. So do I. It's the only thing I know how to do. We'll be sent to the scrapyard. Well, he won't be replacing me. Hello. Is there space in this shed for one more engine? Sorry, but these sheds are full. That's right. This shed is for steam engines. Actually, Hugo, I'm going out to take the mail train now. You can sleep in my berth if you want to. No, he can't, Percy. He is trying to replace us. Please, don't be worrying about me. I will find another place to sleep. So Hugo spent the night at the shunting yard. But still, the other engines continued being unfriendly. Why is everyone being so mean to me? Because you're trying to replace us. No, I'm not. I haven't come to take over from anyone. But you are very fast and modern, Hugo. Stephen says you can do anything. <sighs> this is not true either. I don't even have a coupling hook, so I cannot pull cars or coaches. Oh. oh. And everyone worries about my dangerous propeller, even though I'm being very careful when I come into a station. Thomas, we've hurt Hugo's feelings. And we have to do something to make him feel better. But everybody hurt his feelings, not just us. Then everybody will have to make him feel better. Hugo continued to follow the airship as it made its way across the island. It's much quieter than a helicopter or an airplane. It's a bit like a big balloon. He followed it all the way to the end of the island. I am Hugo, and I should be flying like this Zeppelin. Oh, you mean like me? 
You can fly? No, I meant I can go on the tracks and in the water. And you can go on the tracks and fly up in the air. This is what I am meant to do. But I can't. Oh! You know, Hugo, sometimes I wish I could fly too. Sometimes I dream I have wings. But I know I'll never really fly. I'm too heavy. You and I, Hugo, we're built for the railway. We have to have our adventures down here on the ground. You might not be able to fly, Thomas, but Hugo looks just like a flying machine. I'm sure he can fly if he really tries. That little rail boat is right. I should be able to fly. I just have to try harder. Hugo raced back across the island to Gordon's Hill and, spinning his propeller as fast as he could, rushed for the top and tried to launch himself into the sky. Whoa. But Hugo's wheels wouldn't leave the rails. Hugo tried again. And again. Come on, come on! Oh! Oh! His wheels wouldn't leave the tracks. 